What is up guys, thank you for watching a new vlog. Today I'm going to show you the best places on university campus where you can study. Usually during these times a lot of people just crowd up and go to the library and it's not that nice to sit over there. There are a lot of other places where people crowd up, there are lots of different places where not that many people go. I personally just like to stay at home and study over there. But there are also some places which I want to show you which I prefer, uh, so let's check them out. So one of the other places you can use to study is in the Veranda building right here. Um, and along the sides they now created these benches with sockets and all of that. And that's all along the first and second floor of the Veranda building. School at the university is at least trying to uh, improve all of the places where you can sit, where you can study and all of that. There's just some that we talked about. Um, shout out to this constructors company for doing amazing stuff um, and something about the sewers okay again if you don't mind the noise then you can also always go to the Starbucks over there and there's this thing called the knack uh, which is spelled K-N-A-E-K -E with which you can get a 10% discount on handmade beverages and I think you can there's just a lot of discounts on that card so people often just go to, for example, this building, which is the Gosens building, uh, because there are lots of computers over there. However, therefore, it's also uh, quite full all of the time. So I'll refer to this as the GLC. Uh, the GLC is often very busy. So this is one of the reasons why people can't find the spot. Um, you know, also that the, the restaurant over there um, also has a lot of free spaces outside of lunch hours. So you can go there. There are also a lot of sockets over there um, by the sides, by the windows and stuff. Um, so that's cool. Now I have to wait for the doors. Anyway, so you can definitely go there. It's very busy during lunchtime, especially during the zone period. Uh, but besides that, it's, it's completely fine. Um, there's also some places in the C building in Copenhagen, which we'll also check out right now. So while we are walking towards the next space, um, one thing that you can always do is just go to web room booking, uh, which I think it's like wrb.uvt.nl or something like that, or uvt.nl slash wrb. You can just reserve a room, uh, like a lecture room that is not used. Um, of course, you can also just go to the cafeteria to study. But the, there's also the side study room down here if you go to the big this big staircase you go down like I'm not even gonna talk that much about the library because everyone should know it uh, the library in exam periods is just really full you, you can reserve a PC of course We do have the Montague building, which is, can you see it? It's like right there, um, where there's the learning center where you can sit with computers and stuff. So I hope you guys learned about some new places on the university campus where you can study besides all of the obvious places. If you have any suggestions about what you want to know, something on university campus, uh, maybe about some society, some association, some activity, just let us know, place a comment in the comment section, send us a message on Facebook, or send us an email via vlogcrewtilburguniversity at gmail.com. Um, that will all be in the description as well. Uh, I hope you guys did enjoy this video and then I hope to see you guys next time.